black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, got his winter leathers, his double fuck yous, part of my language, but those are my middle fingies. My favorite leather gloves for winter time rocking, the Wind Rivers. <laughs> the uh the fingers both blew out so we did the uh tin the tool man taylor oh, 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 oh. is that is that was more dracula monsterish but you know what i mean oh, 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 oh. but uh we just did a man fix we didn't stitch i could have used some <laughs> some black duct tape but i just have silver duct tape not duct tape it's for the ducts the, you know what i mean the heat, the vents, the air, the, the, the that, the ducts. HVAC guys will know, which reminds me, I have to clean my flame sensor on my furnace. Because that's an issue. But I am parked outside of a Canadian tire. And when's the last time we had some whoppers in the whip wearing the Eddy? It's been a while. It's a bluebird out. Uh, if you could see in the back there, yeah, you'll see that little beast, that little, how do we do this? See that? That's the chute for the snowblower, because I just did five driveways for some of my favorite clientele on a beautiful, very cold, yet beautiful bluebird day. So, Canadian Tire, we're here, we're, we're gathering butane. I load up on butane canisters, generally six at a time. Don't know why I'm even showing you this. That's how your guy does it, wood style. They smell heavily like perfume for whatever reason. I don't know. Whoever was putting them away was spritzing on the Hugo Boss or the Jupe. I don't know. Either way, what I'm saying is I'm starving. It's mid-afternoon. $9 for two Whoppers and then a little bit of onion rings on them. And maybe we chat about things and uh, just enjoy some Whoppers in the whip. It's been forever. Or just recycling similar content but you guys know i like my favorite things all right let's right. ride uh for me promised land cars in the drive-thru and when you go in they do make your food better so because you got eyes on the prize so i'm going in i'll be right back we're parked in front of a pet store veterinarian all pets welcome i don't know i think it's a vet but check out these guys <laughs> bernie's mountain dog sick i was a little pity what is that jack russell maybe i don't know what that guy is this guy looks just so big. <laughs> Pomeranian Sonic. Let's go. Let's go. All right, let's eat Whoppers. All right, y'all, Whoppers in the whip. You know what the order is. Two Whoppers heavy, y'all. No raw onion, small onion ring. Bring you down for the real thing. Cam, let's show it come together. See how they're looking today. So down on the real thing, Cam, I can generally tell by like the height and the bulge on a heavy all. He didn't even mark it heavy all that they're uh when they're plentiful and this looks very low with its bulk and its bulge it does not look oh and we got a ketchupy backside here so that's a little bit of a sloppy jalopy but as far as heavy all goes that's a normal amount of lettuce it's a very normal amount of tomatoes and a quite normal amount of pickles so we kind of got, I don't know. It's not really a, it's not really a standard heavy all in my opinion, but still be good. All good. I just knew when I saw him make them that they weren't packed to the brim like they normally sh would be on a true heavy all. But all right, so we got this in the half baby bonnet for any spillage leakers and juices. This is very, uh, the sauce all over the place on the top of the bun all over in the wrapper 
it's still all good. All right. When's the last time we had a whopper in the whip? All right. Been a while. Still perfect. Still amazing. Still all good. And yes, I brought extra mayo <laughs> and some extra ketchup. I never really generally douse bites like this, but he's feeling it today. And the cousin Eddie. All right. As y'all can see, on my Canadian Snowblow Man mission today, we got a good snowfall yesterday, and uh, My clients came rolling in. That's a perfect bite right there. Everything included. Still really amazing, still really well made. But yeah, I just in five places. In a matter of like three hours, I keep everybody in a uh, geographical bunch so that it makes sense. And I can get to everybody in a timely fashion. But today I had Mila, who's an 85 year old Italian woman. And she came out and puttered around. while I did her driveway and pathways and everything. You could tell that older people have cabin fever. And they probably don't get a lot of visitors. They probably don't get out much. So when someone like me comes around, they like to just have a chat have some human contact and get outside for like 15 20 minutes just to you know what I mean get some fresh air and it has been gray for like the last entire month and today is like the first blue sky we've had in a while and so It's amazing to soak up these blue sunny rays because I've been at a serious vit vitamin D deficit and it's been killing me mentally. So it's very nice to have a day like this today and then be outside fresh air and be doing like exercise and shit. But yeah, she was client one and then client two was <laughs> I whipped over to like her sister, Georgina. Georgina actually rec recommended me to her after I serviced Georgina's place and Georgina's like 68 but yeah so Georgina recommended me to her and when I first did Mila's place the first time she was like 
I'm surprised. My sister recommended you to me. She's like, she generally hates people. <laughs> she generally dislikes people and doesn't have time for people. And I was like, and then she's like, but she seems to really like you for some reason. And I was like, well, I am a cute, beautiful, <laughs> well-intended young man who plays fair. Like, I always do a good job and I don't rip people off or jip people or charge people astronomical amounts of money. I just try to play fair without devaluing and underselling myself, but um, yeah. So me and Georgina have a sick bond, but her neighbor, Janet, is who really initially found me. And she's about 77 to 80, a little Scottish, skinny Scottish lady. Skinny Scottish lady. And uh, she hit me up telling me to come by today because when I was sick, she had another guy come out, but she said he did a shit job and charged her more than what I charged. And she was like, I want you back. <laughs> so, hit Janet. Talk to Georgina. She didn't need work done. She she had her driveway finished herself. And then after that, I swung by. Carolyn, her place wasn't too bad. I gave her a discount. She's only like 60 though. A fresh retiree. And last time I was at her place, we talked about... <laughs> we talked about... The honey barbecue chicken tenders at Dairy Queen. <laughs> and how good they are. She leaves the money in the mailbox for me. And there was like Dairy Queen coupons in there. So we somehow got on the topic of eating at Dairy, like Dairy Queen and coupons and getting like cheapish meals. And Carolyn's kind of my solely too because When I first was messaging with her and stuff, she's like, I'm a night owl. I basically sleep all day. I'm up all night. So she's like, I'll just always leave the money in the mailbox because chances are when you come by to do the job. Unless it's like late afternoon. She's like, I will most likely and almost certainly be sleeping. And I was like, I feel you care. Because <laughs> I'm such a night owl too. I am a nocturnal creature. If I could healthily. I would exist purely in the night and pretty much right off the day, the daytime, but that's, it just gets really unhealthy. 
But I feel like I'm so designed for nighttime. That's when all my creative uh, juices are always flowing. I was actually dissecting a Swollen Members lyric about that, which was super interesting. If you think of the metaphysical, they had a line where in the song Deep End, it's like, was it? Thoughts start, thoughts start creeping, people are sleeping, pull words out of their dreams, it's the deep end. No, no, it's not that we hate light, just feels right. That's when tracks come out tight. So it's like creative people, right? The nighttime, there's something to that, maybe, maybe metaphysically, because people are sleeping, pull words out of their dreams. It's the deep end. It's the deep end. Not that we hate light, just feels right. That's when tracks come out tight. Might be something to that. When all the world's craziness and the intensity of everybody's thoughts and energy all goes down at night. And people are in that dream state and that type of energy is flowing in the night in the night air and the night owls are awake to like receive shit you know what i mean there could be something to that it's a very interesting lyric and i've always loved swollen members because they always had that like that weird cryptic you know ghosts and ghouls type type vibe or whatever but their music just it knocked their beats were sick and everything but there might be something to that anyways impromptu whoppers in the whip because we're out and about doing shit and then i gotta go uh you know handle unload this and clean out the back of the truck and by that time it'll be almost dark have a shower relax all i've eaten for the day and then uh head into my slumber tonight because i got my sleep schedule back in regular time <laughs> slept from 11 till 6 30 last night so it was perfect seven and a half hours and up like at the crack of dawn and then up and out early today so anyways thank you for joining me listening to me rant about my uh my, my clientele of snow blowing and uh till the next one eat good live well Stay true. I probably have shit in my teeth. Okay. Excuse me. No, it's just Excuse me, miss. Um, what doing? Yeah, where do you work? Have you met my friend Lucy? She's an artist. Why are you giving me the tube? Mm -hmm. and I usually just if you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.